I'm Dale Menio. Thanks for joining us. And joining me is Brent Porteous, president of the Ohio Farm Bureau. They get together for many, many years, traditionally in March, to talk on Ag Day at the Capitol, an update on issues, and talk to legislators. Brent, first of all, as we take a look at things, what's the number one issue that uh, Farm Bureau members from the countryside either want to talk about or want to hear about? Well, Dale, we're here in the end of February in 2010, you know, following Issue 2's passage last fall, and uh, now it looks like uh, the Humane Society of the United States is wanting to revisit that issue with their own ballot initiative. So obviously, livestock care issues and that whole thing is probably the number one issue, but there's a lot of issues that are important to Ohio agriculture and to farmers and counties around the state that are on the table as well. And sometimes we as consumers, and I'm going to include myself in that group even though we're all consumers, we often forget to think about some of the things that, that go on on the farm that need talked about year-round. What are some of the regular issues that this group would get together to talk to legislators about? Well, we're going to talk wildlife issues. We're going to talk state budget issues, you know, because uh, but the state's in a difficult time here with revenue challenges, but also there's a lot of vital programs, many of which impact agriculture, whether we're talking about extension, OARDC, uh, university impact, uh, soil and water budgets, uh, all those county agricultural functions across the state. So those are important services to, to agriculture and to our members across the state. You know, on the national level, we're, you know, you got, you got the water issues, you got the regulatory issues. Um, so it's, it's all those things that affect County Farm Bureau members and each of their individual counties across the state. It's interesting today, 350 of them uh, took time away from dealing with livestock in the snow or whatever was important to them back home to be here and sharing the process. This is you know, kind of the communications part of that grassroots part that Farm Bureau is. Now, who is selected to represent the county to come to this informational update then? Well, it's county leadership and, and those public policy uh, specialists in the county. You know, each county, you know, chooses some people who, who uh, are taking that on as a special responsibility. So it's county leadership and those people that uh, comprise the group today. And really, you're talking about volunteers who uh, serve as a committee chairman like they would in any other group to say, I'll take the responsibility of keeping informed to come back after days like this to tell you what we found out. You know, as you know, Farm Bureau is an entirely volunteer organization. These are the people who have volunteered to come in and uh, do hands-on in the process today to uh, gain some more information about the issues, to become better, uh, better informed and more knowledgeable about some of the issues that we're talking about, and then most importantly, to interact with their legislature. And based on the number of people that just came in after the morning session, these are the senators and representatives, or in some cases, just as importantly, their aide that can help to bring them up to date on what the issues are. They're getting together for lunch, and and that'll be a, a loud chatter time as well. Obviously a great opportunity. We include those people for lunch. They're sitting at tables with people in, from their counties, from their uh, from their representative area. And so a lot of that communication, a lot of that uh, opportunity to share those thoughts and share those issues, uh, no better time than sitting around enjoying a meal. As you take a look at overall issues, what's the really, I mean, I guess food quality, safety, and affordability, is that something we've always talked about or is that moved up the agenda, if you will, based on popular opinion, if you will? Well, it's always been there, Dale, but it definitely has to move up the agenda today because of where we're at in today's events. You know, um, and look at HSUS and here's an activist organization coming in to the state trying to put their agenda on how we raise livestock. You know, obviously farmers care about how they raise their livestock, but farmer or consumers aren't connected to that. And with this partnership that we have with our consuming public, uh, we have to, we're going to have to do that better because we're having situations that are going to impact how we can raise that food for the consumers both in this state and you know, across the country who uh, or utilize our products. We heard an update from the governor talking about financial issues. I talked to Director Boggs, and I said, you know, am I the first to ask you about issue two? And no, he laughed. He said, it's a little frustrating that we have others telling the board how we should react when we, in fact, haven't got all the board appointments done. He said it'd be nice to be able to get some work done before we ever get criticized. It'd be great to see if, if what Ohio, Ohio voters last fall, Ohioans chose to take a group of Ohioans who have expertise, who represent all these interests in this discussion. It's, it's about taking good care of animals. It's about finding production systems that allow us to produce 
produce food efficiently enough that people can afford it and and uh, you know we have the safest most affordable food supply in the world and there, there's reasons for that so but we do need to make sure that we do a good job of in the animal husbandry standpoint and 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 that's why this livestock care standards board is a great concept to find a way to you know include all those interests to make sure that those standards are what meets all those uh, all those criteria. Brent Porty is my guest. He's the president of the Ohio Farm Bureau and Farm Bureau members. Glad to see a break in the snow because the work out on the farm on the livestock side has been particularly tough as we try to get out and feed livestock in uh, 20 to 30 inches of snow in places. So good to see that slow melt happening. Brent, good to see the continuous effort that Farm Bureau members are making to stay informed and to keep their counties informed. And we look forward to uh, hearing feedback on the continuing issues that evolve for Ohio Farm Bureau and for farmers across the state. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, I'm Dale Mino, and I'll see you down the road. Down the Road is brought to you in part by Prince Agra, makers of Omnigen AF, advancing animal nutrition for healthy animals. And Woodruff Enterprise of Springfield, Ohio.